Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm Elvis last year on YouTube and today is Sunday so we're carrying on with our look at the co-stars. Now, um, last week it was um, Deborah Padgett. If you're interested in that, please pop on over and have a look. Um, and today we're going to look at Dolores Hart. Now again, it's a more discussion type video. I haven't went and found out the information before it. We're going to discover it together. And if there's things in that you think that I would love to know or that others would be interested in knowing, then please put down in the comments below and we're going to learn together. And I think that would just be really, really nice. Now, alongside um, reading stuff to you, I will also put up some pictures of things that I find on editing. So, um, to collaborate what I am saying. So, we're looking at Dolores Hart and Dolores Hart Heart was in loving you so we're going chronologically along the spectrum of Elvis's movies so last week love me tender today it's loving you so and um, loving you was Elvis's second movie and Dolores Hart was in there now Dolores Hart is a beautiful beautiful woman in lots of good movies so Dolores was born Dolores Hicks and she was the only child of actor Ben Hicks and Harriet Hicks who separated when she was three years old and ultimately divorced she stated that as a child, I was precocious. My parents married when they were 16 and 17 and both were beautiful people. Moss Hart offered my mother, Harriet, a contact, but by then they had made me and my father, Bert Hicks, a bit player, definitely a Clark Gable type, had movie offers to the movies. He moved from Chicago to Hollywood. I was a Hollywood brat. <laughs> he lived in Beverly Hills and I used to visit him lots. Um, he had a bit part in Forever Amber, and I always wanted to be a part of that life. Wow. So Hicks was also related by marriage through an aunt to singer Mario Lanza. Wow. She lived in Chicago um, with her grandparents who sent her to, I'm not sure, I think that's um, obviously a Catholic school, St. Gregory's Catholic School. Not for um, its religious education, but it was close to home. And she stated, my grandparents didn't want me to get run over by streetcars. <laughs> um, it was actually her grandfather, a movie theatre projectionist, to whom she turned for comfort in light of her parents' marital problems and whose enthusiasm for films influenced her decision to pursue her acting career. She would watch the films, but without sound, so as not to disturb his naps in the in the booth. And her job was to wake him at the end of each reel. <laughs> she converted to become a Catholic um, when she was 10 years old. By age 11, she was living again in Beverly Hills with her mother, a restaurant greeter who married um, owner Al Gordon after high school. She studied at Marymount College um, using the stage name Dolores Hart. So there we go, there's the first time. In 56, she was signed to play a supporting role as the love interest to Elvis Presley in the 57 release Love and You. After this appearance, Hart found herself in frequent demand and she made two more films before appealing with Presley again in 58's King Creole, which of course we know. She was denied, she has denied ever having an intimate relationship with Presley off screen. In interviews during her movie career, she was often asked, what's it like kissing Elvis? She chuckled a bit at the memory. I think the limit for a screen kiss back then was something like 15 seconds. Hart then made her debut on Broadway, when in a 59 Theatre World Award, as well as a Tony Award nomination for Best Featured Actress for her role in The Pleasure of His Company. Wow, that's amazing. I never knew any of that. So in 1960, Hart starred in Where the Boys Are, a teenage comedy about college students on spring break, which has um, got a cult-like following. Yeah, I absolutely love Where the Boys Are. In the film, Hart plays a co-ed who struggles to define herself when confronted with her newly discovered sexuality and popula popularity with the opposite sex. Hart starred in the film Francis of As... As I'm going to put the word across the, the screen now, in 61, in which she, played, which she played St. Clair of Assisi. Is that it, Cece? Um, she also made a sketch of a St. Francis statue, arms outstretched, while working on the movie. She went on to star in four more films, including the lead role of Lisa and the Inspector, which was based on a novel by Jeanne de Hartog and nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Picture Drama. In 63, Hart appeared as Kathy Maywood in The Virginian in the episode The Mountain of the Sun. Hart played a Catholic missionary. You can see where things are going, who, against all warnings, risks her life to honour both her vows to God and her desire to continue her dead work, husband's work to help the community of poor and sick. And this was perhaps a, far, a foreshadowing to what was going to happen in her religious life, which is to come. So um, keep 
keep watching. Her last released acting role, but a month after Hart's last film role in Come Fly With Me with Hugh O'Brien, at this point she made up her mind to leave the film industry. The 24-year-old actress became a Roman Catholic nun at the Benedictine Abbey of Regina Lodge's in Bethlehem, Connecticut. On a 1963 New York promotional stop for Come Fly With Me, she took a one-way car ride to the Abbey in 63, but not in a limousine as once was reported. Oh, people are so silly. Um, so yeah, so she went to the monastery in 1963. Wow. So it was filming, it was during the filming of Come Fly With Me that she became friends with Carl, Carl Malden, who also starred in the picture. Malden wrote in his autobiography, Where Do I Start? that when he and his wife Mona wanted to go out, Dolores would spend time babysitting their kids. She adored the maiden's children and became quickly a member of the family. It was shortly after the picture that Dolores got engaged and she actually asked Malden's daughter, Milla and Carla, to be her bridesmaids. It was after they had a couple of fittings on their dresses that Dolores appeared at the Maldens and announced she was calling off the wedding. A few days later, she came over with what amounted to all her worldly possessions, jewellery, purses, knickknacks, and told the girls to take what they wanted. She said she was moving away and that it was an affair of the heart, her exact words quoted by Maldon. She not only left behind her fiancé, she left her acting career as well. Even though she broke up the relationship with her fiancé, which was Don Robinson, um, who passed away in 2011, they remained close and she admitted that she loved him. Of course, Don, I love you. But Robinson said, every love doesn't have to wind up at the altar. <laughs> Which you can see him in um, the documentary that Dolores made um, about her time in the convent and her time with Elvis. And she does discuss a lot in there. And you get to see Don because he still visits her, which is just unbelievable. Um, he never married and visited her every year at Christmas and Easter at the Abbey in Connecticut until his death. Oh, that's emotional. <laughs> So, Dolores has been in The Nunhood since 1963 and documentary film about Hart's life, God is the Bigger Elvis, was a nominee for the 2012 Academy Award for Best Documentary Short Subject and was shown on HBO in April in 2012. Hart attended the 2012 Academy Awards for the documentary. Her last red carpet Oscar event had been in 59 as a Hollywood starlet. Um, she also has an autobiography, The Ear of the Heart, an actress journey from Hollywood to the Holy Vows, co-authored with lifelong friend Richard De Newt and released in 2013. Hart told her life story from her birth in Chicago to becoming a Catholic, from her Hollywood adventures to monastery life. So yeah, I would really suggest that you buy that book or that you would watch God is the Bigger Elvis because it's a wonderful watch and it really just tells you everything that we've discussed in this video, but in a more depth way from Dolores herself, which is always better than any other way isn't it all right so thanks very much for joining me on the second installment next week i shall return with jailhouse rock so it's judy tyler so i look forward to seeing you then take care of yourself and i'll see you soon bye everyone